Hi, I'm Lindsay. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Bank of the Pacific is a proud sponsor of the production. We wish we were out on the plaza with all of you, but this will be the next best thing. We hope you enjoy and welcome to the event. Hi, I'm Ann Flanagan. I'm Vice President of Public Relations at WSECU. The Credit Union has been a longtime partner of the Hands-On Children's Museum, and we are so thrilled to be a part of the Summer Splash Gala this evening. About three years ago, we stepped forward with an even bigger commitment to join the Children's Museum for its Inspired Learning for All initiative. This is an incredible program that has allowed the museum to expand access and enhance programming, especially for families who may not have the resources otherwise to visit the museum. So last year, for example, under our EBT cardholder program, which allows families who receive state food aid to visit the museum for free or very low cost, more than 21,000 family members got to come to this extraordinary South Sound resource. So we hope that you will join us again this evening for a generous donation to support 
the incredible experiential learning that the museum provides. And right now, we all need more experiences. This is a very different kind of year, and yet the museum continues to provide this incredible uh, fun and learning opportunities for families across the South Sound through things like free family fun kits that I think you'll hear a lot more about this evening. So once again, on behalf of the Credit Union, thank you for being a part of the gala tonight and enjoy your evening. I'm Madeline from Dillinger's Cocktails and Kitchen, and I'm getting your batch cocktails ready for our Hands-On Children's Museum Summer Splash Gala with a twist. So right now I'm making a Blackberry Bramble batch cocktail. You might have a vodka and fever tree tonic or a classic daiquiri at home. I'm gonna add all my ingredients to the shaker. This is a blackberry syrup. fresh pressed lemon juice, and our Alu Gym from Seattle. If you're at home, now's the time where you might want to pop your batched cocktail into the freezer for about 20 minutes. I'm going to shake mine with ice. I'm gonna pour this cocktail into a glass full of ice. And I'll be garnishing with a sprig of fresh mint. And a lemon twist. Now get comfortable, get your cocktails in hand, and enjoy your evening. and I'm at the Hands-On Children's Museum in front of Megan D. Whoa, pretty cool boat. I sure do love the Hands-On Children's Museum in Olympia, Washington. Every single time I've been here, I've had so much fun, especially because I love to learn and play all at the same time. Thank you everyone for hanging out with us, checking out this live stream. It's really important to me, and especially Hands-On Children's Museum. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. Welcome to the Hands-On Children's Museum's first ever Gala with a Twist. I'm Jeff Kingsbury, and I am honored to be your host for tonight's event. Now, I know that you could be doing anything tonight, but you're here because you care about the future of kids and their education. 
Whether you're at home in your PJs or you gathered with a group of friends and family or you just got all dressed up with no place to go, we're glad you're here. Thank you for being the difference that you're about to make for many. This is just a short program, only about 30 minutes. It's going to go really, really fast. We need to make sure you're all set for this online event. Now, if you're watching me now, you're already on the YouTube page and that's great. We need you to open up another browser and go to hocmssgala2020.ggo.bid and get ready to start bidding and make a difference. Now's the time to thank our presenting sponsor of tonight's Gala with a Twist, Olympia Federal Savings. I'm sure we all wish we could be together again at the museum. Take a look at these memories from last year's gala when we were celebrating a beautiful summer night, a world-class museum, and the opening of the new Megan D exhibit. Oli Fed was there too. Well, hi, I'm Sandy DiBernardo with the Olympia Federal Savings, and we are so happy to be here and be a sponsor of the Children's Museum again this year. We have been supporting the museum for over 20 years, and their values so align with Oli Fed's values of supporting our community, and in particular, our youth. We are so pleased to be a sponsor of this year's virtual event to enjoy this wonderful museum and all that they provide to our community. Once again, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Oli Fed, Commencement Bank, Bank of the Pacific, Sunset Air, Kylie Jurgens Wealth Management, Capital Heating and Cooling, Harbor Wholesale Foods, Port Blakely, South Sound Radiology, Academy Mortgage, Alderbrook Resort and Spa, Olympia Therapy, Sauston Wealth Management, SCJ Alliance, South Puget Sound Community College Foundation, the Squaxin Tribe, the Evergreen Community College Foundation, Washington Health Insurance Agency, Warehouser, Panowitz Jewelers, Dillinger's Cocktails and Kitchen, Event Planning Specialists, and let's give a big shout out to our champions. I hope you've had a chance to look at the incredible silent auction packages you can bid on tonight, including a special Father's Day weekend camping trip at Port Blakely's campground on Little Skookum Inlet. How about a yummy oyster and wine pairing with Chelsea Farms? And incredible handcrafted pieces such as a live edge coffee table. Looking for something unusual? South Sound Vasectomy will take care of your family planning needs with a complete vasectomy package. Now Dillinger's is donating a tasting party and membership in the coveted Four Roses Bourbon Club. You can even buy a Montana Ranch Steak, the same one seen on The Bachelor. And we want to thank our silent auction sponsors, Sunset Air. Owners Brian and Valerie Fledge both lend their support to the museum's success. Let's hear what they have to say. We love Patty and we love what the museum does. Valerie and I, um, through Sunset Air, have uh, supported education and we believe in education. Um, and it all starts with early childhood development. It's a great thing to support and uh, we're, we're very happy to be a part of it. Hey guys, welcome to our home. I'm Jen Foley and this is my husband, Eric. And we're so happy to be here for Summer Splash with a Twist and to see you all virtually. We have a big challenge in front of us this evening. Um, obviously it's been a challenging time for the museum and we need to support as much as we can this evening. So we're all, we're asking everyone do what they can do this evening to ensure that museum success going forward in 2020 and 2021. During the challenging time of COVID in the last few months, it's been so important for the museum to be able to get back on its feet and open up safely, especially for kids that are young that need that tactile experience. And Patty and her staff have been diligent about getting that museum up and running safely so everybody can enjoy it again. Thank you for joining us for Summer Splash with a Twist. Now let's hear from longtime museum CEO, Patty Belmonte. Good evening. 
I'm Patty Belmonte, the CEO of the Hands-On Children's Museum. I so wish we could all be together in this beautiful outdoors discovery center, enjoying good food, friends, and a warm summer evening. But this year has been quite a journey. Five months ago, in the middle of March, with just a few days to reflect, I found myself canceling programs and events, saying goodbye to most of my staff, and closing the doors of the Children's Museum. It was scary and sad and profoundly quiet. I call those early days the flailing months. We couldn't find our way. We felt no sense of direction. Our organization was shaken to the very core because everything we believe in, in learning by doing, hands-on activity, and interacting together simply doesn't work during a pandemic like this one. Little by little, my small band of staff began to fill the gaps. Preschool teachers created story time online for their students at home. Dr. Science took his wacky experiments online. And our Make Space educator, Bryn, created her own making videos that kids could do right from the kitchen table. We tried new things, and we failed, and we tried again. And I realized that instead of being sad, we needed to figure out how the museum could help. As we reached out into the community, we began to find our way. We learned that quarantined families also valued the work we love so much. They saw the need for the kids to take a break from the screen, to engage them in learning, but they needed our help. What started as our first request to serve homeless families living in a hotel swelled into hundreds and then thousands of requests for STEAM activity kits from our community partners, from libraries and schools. This is truly a challenging journey, unlike any we have ever been on. We are learning new ways to share what we do best whether it's designing activities in a box or figuring out how to open this museum to small groups of families. The reality is, in the short term, we can't rely on the same economic models that have made us so successful in the past. Instead, we need your generosity. We need you to help us fill the gaps so that we can help children, families, and our community make the most of this very challenging time. My name is Trish Gregory. I'm the Executive Director of the Family Support Center of South Sound. And our organization provides services to families with children and survivors of domestic violence. The Hands-On Children's Museum and Family Support Center have had a long history of collaboration for over 20 years. And during COVID-19, the Hands-On Children's Museum reached out to me and said, how can we be a good partner? How can we support you in serving families during this time? My name is Janice Camacho, and I'm with Derek Dawson. We have four blessings, four wonderful kids. Otis one is Antonio. He's actually serving in the military right now in Texas. There is Sierra. She is actually a healthcare provider. Derek Jr., who is eight years old, and Safari. Derek was working as a housekeeper because of the, the pandemic. Every short of hours, they let him go, and it was on Easter Sunday. He called us at noon to let us know that we had to vacate the premises. So we had to pick up our stuff, load it in the car, and we didn't know where to go. So I kind of Googled um, shelters for family, and then I found Pear Blossom. We had at the time just moved 15 families out of Pear Blossom Place in order to accommodate physical distancing standards and moved them to hotels. They ended up sending us to the, uh, the quality all of these families were experiencing homelessness prior to coming to us. Going to a hotel environment 
They really had the room itself, a television, and nothing to enrich the family or the kids. I was really anticipating maybe the museum could put together kits of some of the items from the creation station and have just some natural things for kids to play with. And we start this noon hour with breaking news, a fire that broke out in an Olympia hotel this morning. This uh, hotel was being used to house 15 homeless families after the shelter they were staying at was closed down due to coronavirus concerns. By the time we even stepped out the door, that's when it was serious to me because the smoke alarms were just going off. We just ran out. Families that were relocated to the hotel experienced an additional trauma on top of being homeless when the hotel caught fire. And we just, we were in disbelief because that was it. Everything in that hotel room was all we had. Uh, families who had very little to start ended up with absolutely nothing. It was a total loss of the hotel. They took it a step further and uh, brought in just activity kits, including uh, robots that kids could build and just general kits that they could do just about anything they wanted to. The day after the fire, they told us that they had um, an art box. I didn't know what to expect of the art box. Of course, we open it up and there's glitter and there's glue and scissors and ribbons and shapes and colors. We end up going down to the park. Their older brother was really worried about them. So I said, let's make something for him. They had lost everything. And so the timing of it was absolutely perfect. I wanna thank everyone for helping me and Derek take their minds off what's going on. The, the walk of life that they're living right now, opening up for them and not making them feel like the distance with the COVID, that everyone is willing to just, you know, step over that boundary and give them that. With everything that's going on, everyone's time, you know, it's, it's it's precious. This is why we're all gathered together tonight. We need this treasured resource. Just being at the museum right now and seeing these very few families playing has just warmed my heart. It's very important right now that we give to the museum to make sure that it's here for the future. It's going to be very hard for the museum to be sustainable with these types of visitations. So please give and give as much as you can. We're opening tonight's Raise the Paddle with a special lead matching gift from the Dawkins Charitable Trust. This important community investor is challenging donors who believe in the museum's mission of interactive learning to join them in making a transformative $25,000 gift. Drew and Kylie Phillips were the first to meet that challenge. Let's hear from Drew. I know firsthand from watching my daughters go through preschool how important this museum is to the development of kids and following it for the last, uh, I don't know, 15 years, watching how this is the most important place to the little ones that I've ever witnessed. This is one of the best places downtown and the amount of people I meet showing up to come to this museum and then visiting the farmer's market and other businesses is tremendous. Now, Let's talk about our super silent auction. We've added three fabulous packages, but you can only bid on them starting tonight. Let's take a look. Escape to the Grand Pacific Palisades in Carlsbad, California. This luxury resort is just minutes away from San Diego's spectacular Balboa Park and steps away from Legoland and the Sea Life Aquarium. You'll also enjoy four rounds of golf at the nearby Crossings Golf Course. Thank you, Merritt and Marsha Long, for donating this wonderful escape. Seabrook is quickly becoming Washington's favorite beach town, and it makes a great escape any time of the year. Savor the majestic coastline while you relax during this family getaway without traveling far from home. 
Thank you to Seabrook Vacation Rentals for donating this incredible package. I'm Adam Adrian. I'm the managing partner from Ramblin' Jack's Restaurant Group. We're out here in front of Mercado. We're here because we are gonna offer an auction item with the Foley's at their brand spanking new fire station. We're going to be cooking dinner for you and your friends, maybe you and your family. We're gonna cook what you wanna eat. We're gonna have wine. We're gonna have beer from Talking Cedars, the new brewery. It's gonna be spectacular. Hey guys, welcome back. We're in our firehouse kitchen out here and the spot that Eric built to actually house a couple fire engines. And then when I got involved, I said, well, all good firehouses need a great kitchen. So here we are. Get ready. Bid well. Start bidding. Bid high. Here we go. Bid often. There's an extra incentive for bidding on the super silent auction packages tonight. Thanks to our super silent auction sponsor, Panowitz Jewelers, six lucky bidders will receive a $100 gift certificate. Now we just learned that John and Sally Warjohn, longtime supporters of this museum, are also in for a significant $25,000 gift. John and Sally value education and learning by doing, and they have been among the museum's most devoted supporters. Thank you, John and Sally, for making this generous gift. Now I wanna challenge others of you watching with us tonight. Take the Dawkins Challenge and join the Phillips family and the Warjohn family. Let's see what's happening at the $15,000 level. Thank you to the Boone family and the Stars Foundation for a generous and important lead gift at the $15,000 level. Our family got involved with the museum many years ago when my dad, Steve Boone, started advising Patty on how to make them help the museum grow and flourish in the community. He and my mom then started the Stars Foundation of Thurston County in early 2000, and we started supporting youth organizations. One of the things that the museum does really well is work with other organizations here in town, which is such an amazing thing to do to be able to have these organizations all come together and work together. So please do all you can today, tonight, and donate and help the museum continue to do all its great work. From Jen and I, a big thank you. Who will join the Boone family? It looks like we have another special gift from Don Rhodes and Nancy Beveridge. Thank you for stepping up with this very generous gift. We're so fortunate tonight to have a lead $10,000 gift from Marsha and Merritt Long, generous supporters of the museum. Thank you to Marsha and Merritt. Please consider joining their family at this important level. And we'd also like to thank the Robert E. and Adele M. Boydston Foundation for their generous gift to support museum access programs at the $7,500 level. Now you can join with them at that level or give a gift right now at the $5,000 level. Every level is especially meaningful to the museum this year. Hi, my name is Bob Heck. I'm president of the Hands-On Children's Museum Board. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I've been involved with the museum for over a decade because I believe in hands-on learning for children, families, and school groups. This year, Kylie Jurgens Wealth Management is thrilled to be the lead sponsor at the $2,500 level to support the museum's activity kits and the fall programming schedule. While this might not be the year that we imagined, we are excited to be investing in the museum because we believe that's the best way to invest in children and families right here in our community. Now we've reached a very special level. Our leadership circle, 125 strong. This group of individuals and businesses ensures that the museum has unrestricted funding each year to use wherever it is most needed. This funding without strings is more important in 2020 than ever before. Last year, Commencement Bank stepped forward to provide a match to new Leadership Circle members, and they're doing it again. Good evening, I'm John Manalides, President and CEO of Commencement Bank, and I'm excited to share this special event with you. At Commencement Bank, we're all about supporting our local community. We like to think of ourselves as community partners, 
and it is our honor to partner with the Hands-On Children's Museum as the presenting sponsor of the Leadership Circle. Whether you join for the first time or renew your place in the Leadership Circle, you'll be entered to win a getaway package at the beautiful Alderbrook Resort and Spa. So, make your $1,200 gift right now to join or renew. Wow, it looks like we already have a lead leadership paddle at the $1,200 level from Mitch Deeds. Thank you, Mitch and Laura. Please join them and keep those leadership gifts coming. We're moving to gifts under $1,000 now. And for the first time, we have a very special challenge grant to make your gift go farther. Scott and Annette McQueen believe in the value of early learning. This year, they've pledged to match your gifts at the $250 and $500 level with a $10,000 matching gift. My name is Scott and this is my wife Annette and this year we're in a unique position to make a matching gift. We'd like to invite everyone else to join us in this to put together these family fun kits. I love how the, the Hands-On Museum is reaching out to kids that can't come to the museum. The fun box is not only an educational opportunity but it also is a way to connect kids and families back into our community and it's exactly what we need in these times. It's a perfect answer to an impossible question. So please join us in offering these kids hope and fun and learning all in a box. This is a win-win for all of us. Let's wrap up the paddle raise with a $100 gift. If you've already given, you can give again. And you'll want to because every person who donates $100 will be entered to win a pastry of the month from Left Bank Pastry, recently named one of the 100 best bakeries in the country by foodandwine.com. I can't wait to see how much we've raised. Watch the thermometer on the giving page as it continues to be updated with your contributions. Now, I want to share another story about how the museum is meeting the needs of families with small camp enrichment programs, not only this summer, but also through the fall when kids are unable to return to school. I'm Danielle Williams. I um, live in Olympia, Washington. I'm a local business owner, and this is my daughter, Emery. She's seven and a half and going into second grade. We've been going to the Children's Museum since she was 18 months and camps for the last three years. I'm Emily Ehrlich. I'm the Education Department Manager here at the Hands-On Children's Museum. So I oversee our preschool program, as well as our camps and other educational programs that we do here. Well, during the summer, we try to enroll in every camp we can. And then throughout the year, we try to go every two weeks. Yeah, we love it. I really like the Survivor Camp because they give you your own compass and you get to take it home and you get to do a scavenger hunt. I was, of course, really sad to see our programs have to close. I knew it was the right decision, but it was really hard. When, you know, COVID first went down and the kids didn't have school, it was scary. We stayed home, we quarantined. Last thing on my mind was sending her to camp, but as time went on and we got in a routine, she was having trouble sleeping at night. But it's tough on a little kid. I would be lying if I said it didn't affect her and it didn't affect the atmosphere in her house. They don't know what's going on, you know. Um, they just know that all of the sudden they can't come to the museum, which they love, and see their teachers who they love and play with their friends, um, but it's just all of a sudden different. As an educator and as a person, I derive a lot of meaning and a lot of joy from working with children. And it was really meaningful and joyful and wonderful to have, have even just small groups of kids back. Um, and I was really glad that we made sure to do it safely and carefully. When we first came to our first day of camp, we were so excited. She picked her outfit out the night before and um, was so excited to wear her mask and see everyone. And I made some friends on this day and some friends that I met last year. Yep, and saw lots of familiar faces. It was so strange to be here with no kids and it just didn't feel right. So um, when we were able to reopen safely, we all were just kind of like 
oh, this is such a sigh of relief to see kids in the space again. The space is meant to have children in it, and it was really special to see them come back. I, I love them, like Teacher Allison, Teacher Emily, there's Teacher Betsy, Teacher Natasha, there's Teacher Kitty, Teacher Ben. Kids aren't going to be able to go to school in the fall, right? They don't have a lot of other places where they can go. So that makes it even more important that we are able to offer something in person where kids can still get that in-person learning experience in a safe environment. And we really can't do that without support. So I would say it's, it's more important than ever, really. Our program is coming to a close tonight. We want to thank you so much for spending your night with us to learn more about the treasured hands-on children's museum. We want to thank Oli Fed as the presenting sponsor of the Summer Splash Gala and Bank of the Pacific for sponsoring tonight's video production. This event wouldn't be possible without the generosity of so many community businesses. We especially want to thank all of you who donated tonight by buying auction items, making challenge grants, and raising your paddle at every level. So you missed your friends, what else did you miss? Um, uh, I just missed being here. Yeah. I, I miss seeing all the people here. Yeah. And all the workers and all my friends that go here. Just yeah. like Emery. Yeah. And Nixon. I just love that they work here, they're really nice people. Everybody who works here are really nice people. all these things and on Friday we'll get to um, do a cupcake contest yeah um, tomorrow yeah, we're yeah, gonna yeah, bake yeah, the yeah, giant yeah, cupcakes yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we're baking and then we're gonna decorate them and be yeah. super creative and then genuine precise absolute fun thank you all so much for joining us tonight on behalf of the entire board we appreciate your continued support thank you for investing in the museum and in doing so investing in children and families right here in our community